Byron Lewis grew up in the post-Renaissance black community in New York City. His dream of becoming a journalist dashed by an industry closed to blacks. Byron got a job in ad sales for a Harlem-based newspaper, where he learned that getting advertiser support for the black buying public was also an uphill battle. Intrigued by the black creativity that surrounded him, Byron Lewis co-founded the upscale Urbanite magazine, celebrated black literary voices including Langston Hughes, James Baldwin, and Lorraine Hansberry were early contributors. Following a visionary instinct, Lewis did the unthinkable and started an ad agency. Founding the Uniworld Group changed Mr. Lewis's life. It also changed history. I just think it's so amazing that he named it Uniworld. Um, so many years ago, 44 years ago, he knew that this was something that was supposed to last forever. It's so important. It's groundbreaking for many reasons. While many brands couldn't see the value of targeted advertising, Smirnoff did and became Uniworld's first client. Friends in the music industry tapped Byron to create a campaign for a new black action adventure movie, Shaft. That 360-degree campaign of events, advertising and PR, was the precursor of modern integrated marketing. A 15-year relationship with AT&T began when Byron arranged sponsorship of a documentary about the black church. That idea was so far out of the box when we heard it, you just could never have predicted. Byron, being the visionary, could, but we could never have predicted. It was one of the most spectacular things I was ever associated with. Uniworld and AT&T went on to encourage urban youth to pursue education in science and technology. It taught us something. It taught us to listen much better to people of any color, recognize genius when it appears, even though it may be way out of the box. With awareness of the value of black consumers growing, Uniworld captured the Eastman Kodak account. We spotted early on Byron's talent uh, and the talent he brought to his agency uh, and the, the confidence uh, that clients had in him in building their multicultural business. In 1983, Burger King became Uniworld's largest account. That was surpassed by the agency's longest running and most successful relationship with the Ford and Lincoln Motor Company, followed by Colgate, the Marine Corps, and the Home Depot. Byron brought branded entertainment to black advertising. He persuaded Quaker Oats to sponsor a black radio series with stars Ozzie Davis and Ruby Dee that ran daily for 39 weeks. Everyone felt that this was a tremendous opportunity for Quaker Oats to be involved in a significant new creative venture. To give clients TV media that would reach informed and affluent African Americans, Lewis acquired America's Black Forum, hosted by Julian Bond. Blending entertainment and tourism, in the 90s, Byron founded the Acapulco Black Film Festival, showcasing African American independent films and attracting hundreds of visitors. To help the Coors Brewing Company improve its relationship with the black community, Byron advertised their support of literacy and other causes. Byron Lewis's Uniworld became the nation's most influential multicultural communications center, engaging consumers for major brands and causes, and opening the industry to professionals of color. We will remain and continue to be the premier agency for cultural relevance. It is a legacy that deserves to live forever. And I know that this is my destiny to carry on Byron Lewis's legacy. Byron, I just want to congratulate you on behalf of all 165,000 of us and really relish this evening and have a, a wonderful time.